Hey, uh, this is a D2, and this is just like a quick sort of tutorial on finding pointers using Ghidra for GameCube games. I'm just going to be using Dolphin. Dolphin Memory Engine. Ghidra. And for your convenience, I'm also going to show some parts of the Dolphin Memory Engine on the side in the in-game view. I'm going to be demonstrating with finding stamina because it's the easiest one to change. We're starting here with a known memory address already, but this memory address is dynamically allocated, it won't always be the same. First things first, I'm going to add a breakpoint for that address in Dolphin. Let's see, the address is 8111B1C6. And when it's written, I'm going to write to the log and break. As you can see, it's written all the time. Every frame, I believe. This isn't ideal, but at the same time, we can see some key bits here. For example, here in the here in the center, we can see the assembly code setting it. It's here. Register three contains a pointer. And it is setting it as an offset of E6 in the pointer. And again, register 3 is loaded at an offset of 8C from the value in register 31. This tells us that the pointer chain offsets we're looking for end in 8C, then E6. So let's go to this address in Ghidra 8003 8B28. There's a go-to window floating above Ghidra here, but um, OBS isn't recording the modal. Here's the equivalent code, and the same code just in Ghidra. And here is um, the attempt to convert it into C code. This is the pointer chain directly, ignoring the possibility of structures. It doesn't assume anything about structures. So we want to find IVAR1, where this is set. So I'm going to highlight the backward slice. And here we are. IVAR1 is function 802.0.1b8c, which takes a parameter that it didn't see originally. And that tells us there's an offset of 28 in hexadecimal as well. I'm just going to select the thing here, the function definition, and press P to propagate the types back to the main program. And now it will see it's passing parameter 1 into this function. What we can then do is put a breakpoint on this function here to find what parameter 1 is when it's called. 8003.89e0. This is just a normal instruction breakpoint. And I'm also going to delete the memory breakpoint so we don't deal with that so much. When I resume the game, it updates, and now we're at the start of that function. The value in register 3 is the pointer address, so we are looking for 
810F, 88FC, plus 28, sorry, plus Nortex 28, plus whatever the other offsets were. This is still in the um, dynamically allocated region, so I'm going to go back into Dolphin Memory Engine and search for values containing that pointer. As you can see, there are quite a few of them here. We're going to need to get these down in the conventional way. There is one other alternative, which is to go back in the call stack and see where the function is called from and try to find where the parameter is set. I'm going to do that in Ghidra quickly. So this function is called from there, which is a branch. It's a branch table. Hang on, that's the wrong. <laughs> wrong Gidra window. This function is called from many different places. And Dolphin says this one is 800C 5E78. Uh, just double check, 800C 5E78. Again, the parameter is just the one passed into this function, and this one is called from here, and that one's called from here when it's the same parameter passed in. Just wait for the decompiler to catch up. And it's the parameter that's passed into here, and so on. You can go a long way back trying to do this. So instead, I'm just going to um, use this. In Dolphin, I'm going to delete the breakpoint and just play around a bit, basically. See if I can shift those values. Oh, those aren't displaying very well. There we go. So these ones here at the bottom that are changing are very obviously not the right one. So we're already down to 10 possibilities. We know that it changes on load. So I'm just going to save the game. And load it again. We know it's one of the ones that have changed, those three there that are now zero. These three here. There are still quite a few more options though, so if we go back to here, this this is the this is the save state I used originally. It's not this one because that one's zero. It's not this one because that one's scanned as zero. Let's load that save file again. It's probably one of these two because those ones are reset to zero first. So 
let's just create a new pointer in DME to check these out. I'm just going to drop it there in the stats dynamic section, even though it's not. Two, four, what was it? I've already forgotten it. Some... It was 8C, then E, 8C, then E2. No, wait, that was sanity, E6. Cool, that seems right. Does it decrease? Yes, it does. That's the correct value. So these two are now wrong, which narrows it down to three. And so on, basically. I cannot say what was the true beginning. So now I'm just starting a new chapter. Oh, well, that one's changed so and it keeps changing. So I don't think it's that one. I'm reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bow. I'm just going to speed up emulation for a bit. Get through the cutscene. <laughs> Oh yeah, this file's a bit messed up because I hacked it to get past Pius without doing the Pius chapter. So I haven't selected an ancient or anything. The game is going to sort of crash. But yeah, here we go. It's a different value now. So let's try out that address. 804E, FAC4. Nope, that is not a valid pointer. We've narrowed it down to two. And rather than try and figure it out, I'm just going to tell you that both of these seem to always be valid, for the statistics at least. I hope this was a helpful sort of insight into how I do pointer searching, even if it was a bit all over the place, and hopefully it can help you find pointers rather than just me.